This is Rebirth of Legend here with another replay analysis. This one's going to be a little different. This is actually a, a game I played that I wanted to look at. I just did another Doom game uh, today, and I want to show like another... Uh, uh, not, not necessarily like a way to play him, but like the, a position. Uh, sorry, I'm playing him as one position in this game because my friends are clowning and they like dual offlining, so I ended up in a lane. So I think this is a really good game to look at because... Um, the support is a pub, uh, it's another two stack run the game with, don't know them, they don't really communicate. And he feeds my lane like three times in a row, so I'm basically 1v1 yeah, against a Tusk. So I want to explain a few things and like how I approach things and how I try and deal with this Tusk who has uh, a kill threat. And my rationale for everything I do. Um, because there's a lot of people who are playing Doom because he's a strong hero now, but if you're not playing the hero correctly, you're not playing the right thought process. You're not utilizing the hero correctly. So, um, first things first, I think when you're safe laning Doom, you pretty much just, you want to get a Radiance. Radiance is super strong, and then uh, you can tank up. So you don't necessarily want to rush, get an Aghanim Scepter on safe lane Doom. That's not to say you can't, but um, if the game doesn't necessarily require it, like against a PA, a Slark, um, or some other examples, uh, AM is a really good person to have it against too. Um, heroes like that, then you don't necessarily need to get it, because Doom as a spell is really great, and if you're safe laning, you don't need the damage from the Doom to kill people, you can use your other damage. This is some, this is a build I like kind of thought about the other day, and I wanted to try out for safe lane. Uh, so people get drums, and I think it's really shitty. Because um, it's kind of like a cheap item you're going to want to get rid of, and then... Uh, I just never really liked it. Um, so what I try here is treads and SMLs. People don't really get treads on Doom. If I'm trying to play like a frontline tank role, um, I thought getting treads and SNY would let me run people down in conjunction with my Scorched Earth, while having SNY, which gives me a little Sorry, armor, um, tanks me up a lot and gives me a bunch of damage. So I felt SNY did a lot more than drums, and while it is significantly, it's twice the price basically, it, it felt like it had more utility particularly in conjunction with the treads, which gave me like huge H, a huge HP pool, gave me some armor, and let me run people down, and it uh, made me attack faster, so I'd be able to right-click people more while running them down. Okay, so let's look at this for like the level one shenanigans. What am I looking at? Oh, my friends always do aggressive level one stuff. It's very, very exciting. Okay, so here I see the Enchantress, I click her, I see she has boots. What that means is she's moving at like 385 I think, right? 385, she's really fast. I Meaning she could just run me down, I don't want to deal with that harass, like I don't have a, I don't have a stout shield, her damage isn't too high I don't think, yeah it's 53. I don't really want to go here and just take free hits because there's no point and I don't have a stout shield, so if I go down here and she decides to just chase me, she can feel pretty safe that she can probably, like we have one stun, maybe a second stun, like a silence. She should feel pretty safe that even if she played really aggressive on me, I, uh, or aggressive on any of us. What does this do? Is that a box I can click? Never seen that before. Um, she should feel pretty safe that no matter what she does, it'd be very difficult for us to kill her. And she'd be able to get chip damage. Like, worst case scenario, I think she just loses a bunch of HP, but... That's whatever. So I don't really want to go here, because I can't see up this hill either. This Witch Doctor... Hey, there we go. See, he dies because there's a Tusk. And, like, I wasn't walking there on purpose, because I really didn't want to get caught. Because you have to, like, assess their, like, level 1 threats. And, like, we look at this. I don't really want to go down here unless I'm, like, going to get the rune. There's no reason to walk here right now. Because he's going to die, like, before the rune even spawns. Which is really silly. And he's taking this chip down, and she could run him down by himself, and then the two of them show up and it's done. So the Tusk just warded, which is really fucking annoying. Because I really wanted the mana creep from here, which I was hoping would spawn. I get a really shitty camp spawn too. Uh, it's actually the worst camp you can get, the troll camp. It's good when you're jungling, but I'm safe laning, therefore it's not good. So I do this opening, and what that allows me to do is I... Um, I'll passively get the gold for the stout shield. I can just walk over and buy it immediately. Since I'm safe lane, I am going to get a calling blade too. This animation is kind of awkward, so I'd rather be able to start it with like much higher damage. 
And it helps with just farming overall. It lets you push waves quicker, it lets you kill jungle camps quicker. Nothing too interesting is going to happen. The Witch Doctor is going to get out of position and die. So the reason I think this is good to look at is because my Witch Doctor starts feeding this lane, which makes it annoying. Uh, I went to check the easy camp because I wanted an easy creep. That actually really pissed me off. We're going to go back and show that. I walked to this camp and I'm thinking like, oh, we warded, we warded the Enchantress this camp. She must have came here and taken this creep. He's hidden in this corner and I only see him once I eat that. So I'm really annoyed about that. And it's a shitty camp anyway. So now I'm going to have to go back to it and slowly eat it. It's just fucking annoying. She always end up getting a Bassy when you're on a safe laner. Uh, on Doom, it's really important because you have no armor and like the worst agi gain in Dota. This guy gets out of position here, I think. I screwed up here and I didn't pull it quickly enough, so I failed to do the side pull. But that opens it up for him to do it, and the creeps will act a little funny too. I think I miss a few creeps in doing all this. He gets out of position and gets snowballed on. If even if that hit me, I wouldn't have died because I have Scorched Earth and I'm tanky. He needed to play further back. He screwed up. So now he's fed this Tusk two kills. He's going to feed him a third one. And at that point, I just... I don't, I'm not rude to him. I'm just like, hey man, you could just go roam or something. I, I don't need your help. I'll be fine. Because like, I'd, I'd be fine in this lane 1v1. It's not going to be a problem. Like, if he's here, maybe we can get kills. But like, he doesn't need to be there. It's not going to... It's not going to greatly change whether or not I get farm to be honest uh, but because of what he does instead of maxing your devour which is what I want to do in a 1v1 or a safe lane position I end up having to level scorch earth because I don't feel safe in the lane so he dies again the silencer shows up gets caught um, if they went on me there I don't think I would have died I think I got hit by those shards there so I think my HP is pretty reflective of that like I, I ate the big one, but this creep sucks. So I, I, right here is where I have to make the decision. Like I'm two two, and here's where I have to decide. Like, am I gonna max my scorched earth, or am I gonna max this? This guy went th uh, zero and three in my zero and three hasn't done anything. Fed this guy level five in like a half. He's way far ahead of me right now. Yeah, he's almost level six. Well, I'm at four and a half, and that's pretty pretty scary because he's gonna have a lot of kill potential, and it won't necessarily all come at like his burst is quite substantial. But I think I might be able to survive it. But I need to get the extra levels of Scorch Earth just to guarantee that. So I'm adapting to this situation. Like, if I'm in a 1v1, I almost always want to max the Devour. It'll give me a quicker Midas to let me farm more. And that's what I want to do in a safe lane posi position. Because I want to get a Midas and a Radiance. Like, Boots, Midas, Radiance. And I can usually do that by about 15 minutes on Doom. It ends up... I end up getting it close to 19 minutes in this game. It still isn't... It's not slow. It's just... It's definitely not ideal. So he like wants to trade with me, I use my Scorched Earth and just just in case someone else was there, I don't want to wait, I don't want to wait until he goes on me and then after he stunned me and started comboing me to start my Scorched Earth. If I, if I think there's a chance they might be trying to go on me, I need to turn that on immediately. That way while I'm stunned and while they're doing other stuff to me, I'm still regening. So while it's not as effective because maybe I'll be using it when I'm almost full HP, if they chose to go on me, I'd be regening while I'm stunned. Which if I wait until after they go on me, I won't be regening while I'm stunned, which could make the difference between me living or dying. So when in doubt, if you're scared, just pop it. It's not really that much of a loss. This guy's a baller right now, which is really annoying. It my... <laughs> I'm gonna explain something that's kind of funny. So I'm in here, and I, I think I'm not paying proper attention right now. I couldn't have seen that gank anyway, but we blocked all of her camps, so she like moved to the our side of the thing. I should have been kind of more cognizant of that. And I see these creeps, and I'm like, oh, I was like, oh, the witch doctor must be side pulling, and I didn't notice. Uh, I am wrong. This is an enchantress ganking me. And uh, I actually screw up. I'm shouting at my friends to TP. My friend is my friends are the Wind Ranger and the Earth Spirit. I'm shouting them to TP. That's the sickest shackle I've ever seen. I didn't realize till I watched the replay that latched both of them. It didn't just hit. It didn't hit one. It hit both of them. I kill myself here though. I misjudge his HP. I turn the Scorched Earth on, and I think, and I didn't think he'd have. I didn't think he'd have his ult. I assumed he must have used it and that it was on cooldown. Uh, which is stupid, I should have just played it safe, and I didn't. Uh, so we get this kill. I'm running. I finally get my Scorched Earth up. I should have ran there. They still kill him. But, like, I should have lived there. And if I even if I ran that way and then turned back when I had a little more hit points, it would have been great. Because that's, like, a heal of, like, 500. 
And that was just a really greedy thing on my part that I shouldn't have done. Quite silly. That's one of the only two deaths I have in this game. In this patch, I think I'm 16 and 2 on Doom. He's just, he's incredibly strong. I think the average MMR in this game is about 4,300. So I have Doom. Um, I'm still gonna, like, since I'm a safe laner, I don't want to just be running around looking for kills necessarily, like I would if I was an offlane Doom. I need to get my farm, I need to get my Midas, and I don't want to do anything super crazy. Once again, I sell this worthless fucking creep. Uh, they... I see them set up for a gank. This Tusk seems to have bad reactions. I don't know if he had much of a choice here. I think he was dead regardless, because he couldn't snowball anywhere too useful. I see them I see them on my minimap there, so I like run at him, doom him, throw on my squad shirt, and he's he's dead. I think she hit with a Star Storm or something and the Maledict hit. So he gets he gets shit on. I take this creep. This creep's also shitty and I don't want it, because it's a really high mana cost and I don't really have a mana pool to support that. Um the creep I really want is a mana creep, and I think I find it once his ward dies. It's like the first camp that spawns, which is super awesome. The mana creep it's gonna give me uh, an aura regen of two, two mana per second, and that'll allow me to use this stuff like on cooldown pretty much. So I'll be able to use my devourers and not worry about not having mana for a combo, which is really important. Because it's gonna let me, it's gonna let me farm camps more aggressively because I know I'll be able to use my scorch earth. So like stuff's going on, and I don't have a TP. Like I came really, right now I wanted my, I wanted my um. That's the dive, right? I'm not crazy. That was the dive that they just did. Okay, so here, I don't have a TP because of how my slots are working, and I'm saving for a Midas right now. I walk over to here, and I'm considering buying treads, but I look at the fight first and realize I can buy treads and a TP and go there. Like, that, those are my options. I have Scorch Earth up, but I don't have Doom. So I'll be able to Scorch Earth, and I have a War Stomp stun, and I could buy treads. But I look, I look over here, I see they're already out. There's no point in me doing that. There's no reason for me to put off my Midas anymore. Um, if I was getting like, sometimes I'll get boots beforehand, it's just because I had a level, I had a level of Scorch Earth because of how the lane was going, that I just want to get the Midas. See, once again, he just walks up, he, he does stuff like that really often, I noticed. Like, he just ran up to me, and I think he must have someone else with him, so I immediately Scorched Earth. And he walks away. It's like, okay. I could have killed him. There's actually a fuck up here. I'm gonna try and doom him with my next Scorched Earth, but the auto cast on this gets activated somehow. And it costs me something. So I don't want to show in lane until my Scorched Earth is up, because I'm kind of scared. Like, I don't know if someone else is there, but if my Scorched Earth isn't up, they can kill me. So I can't show up until that's here. So I think I'm gonna pop my wand. Do I pop my wand? I see him. I don't know how I see him there, but I do. Doom him, Scorched Earth. See, I don't know. I really have no idea how that got activated. Something happens that activates. I heal myself and it screws up the kill. Uh, because it stop every time you use this, it stops you and does the heal animation. So since I got put on auto cast, it forced me to self heal. And I turned it off almost immediately, but it was too late. That kill, that kill opportunity was already gone. Uh, he didn't have drums, but like I didn't want to have to dive much further than I had to, and it was going to take me a while to get back within range for the Scorcher, so I gave up the kill. It's not worth it, like I don't really care, I just need a farm right now, I don't need to commit on dives. I got the Midas, I kind of wasn't realizing it, so I farmed inefficiently there, I should have been attacking the other creeps. I really want to keep this creep for a while though. Oh, I should, oh shit, I should lower this. I'm sorry, I kind of don't notice when that's on sometimes. So I see they're all middle, like I'm looking at the minimap here, and I see the position of like three of them. And as long as I can see the tusk, which is yellow, then I'm not really too scared. I can't see them now, so I back away, I don't know what they're doing. I go back into my jungle. Which they could gank me that way, but it's kind of weird. I might use my score, it feels weird with the volume this low. Try it overcompensating. Um, notice, like, I'm not gonna use my Devour. <sighs> I'm not gonna use my Devour on creeps that I don't want. 
because it's, it's really important that I still have this, because my mana is full and it's letting me do whatever. I see this, I tell my team I'm coming and I have a Doom up. I don't have, I don't have my Scorch Earth, so I want to be careful. Okay, that was kind of a screw up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and rationalize this, but I think it was just wrong. Okay, fast forward too much. Okay, I see him, he gets ulted by the Earthshaker. And I see him at this much HP when I cast it. But he got pegged by an arrow or something. I think it was an arrow, right? Maybe it was the Star Storm? I think I got hit by the Star Storm. But I was already like in the animation and I didn't want him to snowball and like prolong that kill or anything. I just wanted him dead. Because I know he's like my biggest problem in these fights right now. Uh, what else do I do here? I doom him, which is foolish. That person dies. I don't do a huge amount in this fight. I think I stole that kill though. I think that's it. I think I got that kill. I'm not sure. At the very least I got an assist, because I definitely got the Doom off. I don't know what this guy was thinking, he TP'd in, my Scorch Earth is up, I level death him, he died. I got really lucky that people were like perfectly at my multipliers. Like there's a, there's a couple of fights where I noticed like this doing a crazy amount of damage when it shouldn't have. But like, coincidentally, every time I cast Doom, they were at the multiplier. So the nukes were like hitting so fucking hard. Because the way this works is, if their level is divisible by those numbers on the bottom, the hero level multiplier, if it's divisible by that number, then you, on top of your nuke of 2, 275, 1, 275, 225, 175, 125, on top of that damage, you do 20% of their HP as magical damage too. So it can be a pretty big in increase, particularly later in the game. Like, it scales really, really well. Because once they hit level 25, you automatically get the multiplier no matter what. Which is kind of funny. So, um... They're feeding. I'm not too worried about it. I, did I look at that? I think they must have overcommitted. I don't remember what happens there. I thought I looked. Maybe I didn't look. But there's I, I keep an eye on the minimap and I see them posturing near a tier 1 tower, but I'm not too worried. I don't know where those guys died. I didn't even look right now. I think it was in the woods over here or something. Okay, I screw up here too. This is, this is the last time I die in this game. So I see this fight. TP in, activate my Scorched Earth. I'm like, oh, sick, this is going great. I'm like, let's kill that guy. I got Doom up. Walk up here, <laughs> get wrecked. And the thing is, I knew they should have been there. Like, when I was here, I was like, okay, there's stuff going on middle. Their whole team is probably TPing there. But we, that fight started off so good that I was, like, really confident, and I think I just didn't judge it correctly. If I had my Scorched Earth up, I might have lived there. But they, like, immediately stunned me. I never get my Scorch... Or I get my Scorched Earth up late? I think I... Did I get up? I think this is screwed up. Okay, no, it, it, it. I'm really confused. I'm pretty sure that timer's wrong. I'm very confused. I. I can, maybe I was just wrong. I. This is still screwed up. Okay, there we go. Let's watch this. We'll fast forward right here real quick, because I'm pretty sure my thing should have been. Oh boy, okay, I'm running after him. My Scorch Earth isn't up. See, like, <laughs> I scolded someone in the last Doom game I looked at for this. I should not have been playing aggressive while my Scorch Earth wasn't up. Because their burst, if you looked at it, as this is going on, this lasts about like three seconds, I would have healed 150 health. So if my Scorch Earth was up as I was running into this, I might have lived here. I think it still would have been pretty close, because they, they hit like a fucking truck. They really wrecked- oh, she doesn't have her ult. Because I get like Walrus Punch, so like their, nu their nukes are like all on cooldown. Like she blow blows her nukes and she's just right clicking. He blows his nukes, he still has a snow- he's gonna use the snowball though. And she just has a slow. Like, if I had my Scorch Earth up, I probably would have lived here. Instead, they global me. I can't get out. My Doom, my Scorch, I don't get to use any of my spells. Well, if I just waited three seconds and didn't get overzealous and I had my Scorch Earth up, I probably would have lived there and we might have been able to turn that. And I, because I still had, like, the Doom up and I was, like, almost full everything. So I was like, that was a pretty big mistake. And those are things you have to be careful about.
Because I just, I don't know. It's like I assessed the situation correctly and then made the wrong decision anyway. Oh wait, I minus that, I eat that creep. Because like, I have this, so, and I have this and I have tread toggling. So I should be able to use my spell. I don't think I tread switch as much as I shit this game. I think I screw up a few times. Yeah, like right there, I don't, I don't tread switch for that. That's really stupid. That's like a big reason I justified the treads in this build, because I'd be able to tread switch to uh, save mana. Uh, oh, when I was dying, I bought the I bought the Radiance recipe. I didn't check my gold, but I ended up having like 1,600 reliable, 1,500 reliable. So when I bought the recipe, I only lost like 200 gold instead of 400. Yeah, my death cost is like 390. So instead of losing 390, I think I only lost like uh, about 200, a little under 200. So you should always make sure you have like your quick buy and you can do shit like that. It's pretty important. So I justify the, the treads in this build because it gives me increased attack speed and it makes me tank up more, gives me 9 more strength. And Doom is a hero who just really doesn't have a lot of agi and doesn't have a lot of attack speed so the treads seem nice. And then I'm playing to get an SMY later. The Radiance is really really good against the TA and it's really good against her because I don't have to hit them. So when I run at people, I have my Radiance burn damage which is 50. It's giving a mischance which help, helps my ho whole team. Helps me farm a lot. And then it combines with this, it makes it so I'm doing almost 100 damage a second in an AoE while healing. It's it's incredible. It's so fucking strong. That said, like, it's stronger the earlier you get it. In a, if I had a, if that Witch Doctor didn't feed my lane, I probably would have, um, I probably would have had this, like, four or five minutes ago. But that's life. Notice, like, I didn't even, like, fully rush it or anything. Uh, I'm still minusing the big creeps instead of the smaller ones because... <laughs> okay, I think I... Okay, so I didn't point this out because I was talking about other stuff. I just got the Radiance and we see them pushing here. So, um... I still need levels, so that's why I'm doing the big creep. That's what I was getting at. Because I really want my max level Doom. I knew they were here, but, like, I'm not particularly scared. And once again, this guy, like, he plays, like, really arrogant. But I know where two of them are. Like, I know two are in the woods. And, like, I'm feeling really confident right now that they can't kill me. This guy shows up and gets destroyed. It's another level death multiplier. That's what I was talking about. See, I, got, I hit another level death multiplier. Which, like, one more level. If she was, like, one more level, which, how much experience was she from it? I don't even know. Okay, she was, like, 200 experience for me not hitting that multiplier. I don't. It wouldn't have mattered there, I just thought it was funny. She also screws up in this fight, which is something I didn't really point out. She doesn't hit me with the uh, melt strike, because I think she's panicking because of how much damage she was taking. No, she doesn't start to take damage there. She just got destroyed. So that Tusk, once again, he like walked up and it, like, it threw me off, because I'm like, he shouldn't be walking up like that. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. So I, I think there should be more people there than there are, but I know I knew two were over here, so I'm like, there can only be like th three people here. And I'm not worried that they can burst through 1800 HP quickly enough while being Radiant Spurn and one of them's doomed. Because I know they're not going to get all their spells off if I doom one. So I don't have to worry about the Tusk stuff, I just have to worry about like her right clicks. And I'm not worried about her right clicks. The Silencer once again gets criminally out of position. We were actually backing away. And then she gets out of position, he gets out of position and gets gone on. So right now you see how I have this queued up. But I noticed that he has a Desolator right now, which isn't unreasonable. So I'm like, eh, I'll get rid of my Bassy. In hindsight, maybe it should have been the Wand, just so I have even more armor, because armor is really important. Um, I get rid of the Bassy, and I'm going to buy a casual Plate Mail here, which I'm going to turn into, I think about a Shiva's, and then I end up getting an AC, and then I get the Shiva's after that anyway. <sighs> Once again, I'm not tread switching really annoying. So I get the Sand just because I want to increase my HP pool, and I tell my team, like, alright, let's group. I got a Sand, I'm super tanky. I even drop my TP because I'd rather just have the Wand, because I'm that confident. Like, what am I going to need a TP for if I'm going middle here? I'd rather just have the Wand. Doesn't matter. I'm going to eventually get rid of the Wand for a TP scroll, but for now I don't care. Okay, once again, this guy is just... He's so weird. Like, the way he plays, like, I don't understand it. Because I look and I'm like... I see them going on him. Like, does he just not notice me? I just walk up and I'm able to do him. I scorch earth and I run at him. Once again, a level death multiplier. I'm the luckiest person in Dota. I never get that lucky. It's hilarious. I mean, he was like he was dead anyway, but that definitely that definitely helped, and I wouldn't say no to it. 
So here, my friend hits a brilliant shackle. Uh, they get screwed. I think I had to throw out the level death right now. She's too fast. I don't have Scorch Earth up. I don't have my Sanjay Nyash. I only have the Sanj. I try and level death and misses. She's too fast. Bullshit hero. I find this guy. I get really arrogant here. I think. They catch me at that. I don't know if they see me right there. She hits the arrow. I turn. We light them up. Another ridiculous shackle, they all just die there. And that's like the Radiance Burn damage and the Scorch Earth damage, just shredding people. No, I, like, the reason I ran that like that is because as soon as my Scorch Earth is up, I know I'm fine. This thing's bugged as fuck. I turn it up right there and turn back. I might have still been able to turn without that, but that was definitely something that helped. It's really annoying, she can still run from me, so now I have the Yasha too. I think I, uh, I should drop my wand here now, for the TP. It's just for this fight pushing middle, I just want as much stats and as much survivability as possible. So there's no reason to drop the wand there and take a TP when I don't, we're either going to win that fight or I'm going to die, at which point I'm going to be dead and I don't need the TP anyway. So I might as well just have more stats. And I was pretty confident we were going to win that fight, just because I was like omega strong right now. There's a point in this game, I didn't have the net worth thing up this whole time, but there was like a point where it was like the Marana and then three of their cores and then me and just like by playing save like getting farm and like knowing when I'm peaking when I'm getting strong and not being like over aggressive I managed to catch up I mean that I'm a doom with a minus you know that's definitely helping me this game actually hits the fan for a moment like this game like right now if you look at it you're like okay this is pretty close look at the gold it's like oh it's getting kind of bad. Like it kind of just drops off right here when we take that big fight over here, which is like when I know like I'm peaking. And uh, the next fight they just get to destroy right here. Like we kind of hesitate on the high ground push. Once again, this guy's kind of out of position. I don't know what he's doing. I got another free kill. It's, it's ridiculous. Auto in this. I'm calling. I start calling back in a moment. I'm like, maybe we should get back, because my Scorch Earth is down. I'm missing some HP. I'm missing like 20%, 25% of my HP. So I'm like, oh, uh, let's back up. And he's like, oh, let's focus fire the tower. It's dead already. I'm like, I'm like, you're an idiot, Alex. I hate you. Uh, we turn back. I almost have Scorch Earth up. My friend Jimmy starts going in. I'm like, fuck it. I got the Scorch Earth up. Let's do it. I doom him. I don't chase after him. I don't really care. He's just kind of taken out of the fight. If he wants to come back in, we'll screw him up. We just need to focus these down, and I have Scorch Earth up still, so I'm not really scared. So I run back at them. I think I hit another multiplier, level death multiplier here, which is hilarious. Uh, I think I finished the AC in their side chat. Hell yeah, I go to pick that up. Dream. So now we have the AC, SNY. That guy's dead. This guy's an idiot. I think he... <laughs> Easy crit. Um... Yeah, so this is when the game just falls off a cliff for them. So they got like 12k, and then just plummeted. Because um, this is when my hero's peaking. Like, I am so tanky, I have 2500 HP, I have a huge amount of armor, I've got a Radiance. I still didn't get my TP because I didn't feel I needed it. It's not like they're going to be split pushing, I'm going to really need to respawn. They're going to have to deal with what we're doing down here. I turn that off to try and save the creep for the Midas. Didn't work. And we're just laughing in this game. <sighs> I'm really arrogant right now. Fuck this bitch. Made my life annoying for a small period of time. That's another level death multiplier, I think. I uh, hear I get a reality check, which is pretty funny. Uh, no, nah, he's 13, so that wasn't level death. He was just he just has no HP, I guess. Yeah, just drums. So I guess it wasn't a level death multiplier that time. He goes on me, I don't know what he's doing, he gets crit and I level death him and he dies. Here I get lit up and I'm like, whoa! Cause I'm being arrogant, I'm like, you guys can't kill me? Like joking around with uh, people I'm on Skype with. And they do a ton of damage to me. I'm like, okay, time to get more armor. So I go for the Shivas next. Uh, Cause this guy's removing like, I think it's 15 armor, it's 7 from the crit. Uh, it's 7 from the crit and then this is another 8, so it's 15. And um, before this, I only had 
15 plus 8. I'd only have 8 armor, so I want even more armor. Just because if he's pretty decent physical and they're huge physical damage. So if I can survive these two, then I feel like I'm pretty good. Back farm, finish the thing. This game is pretty much over. I walk mid to meet up with my team. And yeah, I don't really think there's much more to this game. We die, we kill them, we get even farther ahead, we take megas, clown around, I end up with like a heart, which means I have like 3,500 HP, and huge armor, huge mobility, and a radiance burn. Um, whatever, we'll just make this go quicker. Just because it's interesting to watch, I suppose. Once again, like you see, you can see them melt. You can see them melting right there, just because of how much damage this is doing at this point in the game. So I have my Scorch Earth on right now. Is that bugged? I feel like it's bugged again. Get a Doom off. Uh, hit him with the Shivas. He gets hit with the Shivas AOE and gets hit with like the Scorched Earth, which I think is now over. Yeah, and the Radiant Burn. They all just got melted there because of how much AoE that's doing. They can't handle it at all. Let's watch it one more time because that's funny. Start the fight. I'm just ordering this. Keep in mind, it's objective gaming. Jimmy goes in. Doom one guy. Activate the Shivas. Slow them all. Like everyone else is doing damage on my team, but you could see them all going down in like waves too, which is from the Shivas, the Radiance, and the Scorched Earth. So I didn't really do a lot for the first like 15 minutes in this game. Like I just had a TP and I tried showing up to fights and it worked out most of the time, except for that one time where I did that really stupid thing I pointed out. Um, yeah, so I uh, I just tried to have my TPs, made sure I got my radiance, and then once I have my radiance, I I know that I've reached a peak because I had to save 5k gold for this, and now I'm like pretty tanky. I've got some armor, so like I still need to play kind of careful because they have really big physical damage burst from the TA. Because when I had just the radiance, I think I was probably at about I'd say like eight armor. I think I was probably like seven armor. Maybe it was even less than that. Maybe it was like six. So that means with this alone. With her, with her melt strike, she can remove almost all my armor and pr bring me negative. So I still need to be kind of careful because I'm kind of going off of uh, the Radiance mischance. That's a really big aspect of my survivability. And um, just kind of playing a little safe. Because if I overextend, they can totally kill me still at that point. And then once I get my big armor item, then I'm feeling really, really strong. And then once I get a tank item on top of the armor item, I'm also feeling quite strong. So I really wanted the mobility from the SNY, which is why I got it. I did this in opposition to like a Blink or a Shadow Blade, just because I wanted to try it as like a frontline thing. And I get a hard delivery. We'll just see what my stats look like once I get this delivery. 3800 HP, 37 armor, 450 move speed, with the burn on. Yeah, so I can run down like anyone in this game. Ooh, except for that guy when he's when he's walking fast. I don't think you can purge that with Doom either. Yeah, so like there is nothing they can do. Well, this game, the game's over at this point, but like that item progression was coming even if we didn't Mega them. And I think that would have been exceptionally hard for their team to deal with because these two people are gonna do damage, and I just have to be there to absorb like all their initial damage, and it'll cost them a lot to try and kill me. So that was the rationale behind it. I just wanted to try to. Oh, I hope these aspiring Doom players, who everyone's gonna eventually hate, like the new Troll Warlord. So you can see, um, you know, uh, explain my decision making, so you can understand, like, itemization, why I'm doing things, uh, how I change my build on the fly just because the Witch Doctor opted to feed my lane. Um, little things like that can make a pretty big difference. Um, if, if I didn't skill, the Scorched Earth in that one fight. So the, the the first death I have, where we're like dodging through the tree line, the Wind Ranger and the Earth Spirit TP in, and I die there, I would have lived if I ran away. And the reason for that is because I had level three Scorched Earth for that, which is another five seconds off the cooldowns. He might have been able to catch me if I didn't do that. Um, so that's like one of those things. It also helped my laning threat with him. So that's like a direct example of where it probably would have helped and saved me if I wasn't an idiot. And uh, if we look at the 
lane, it allows me to play a little more aggressively and a little more confidently. Just because I know I'm going to have that huge heal behind me if they do try and gank and go on me. But, uh, yeah, so I hope that helps. Um, the other thing I said a lot in the other video, uh, I think Midas on Doom is really, really important, regardless of whether you're offlaning, jungling, uh, midding, safe landing, whatever the hell you're doing. It's a really, really important item because it gets you your progression. Uh, unless you're getting it like 25 minutes, if your team's so far behind, it's probably, it's probably pretty much always worth getting. Um, yeah, any questions, comments, feedback, always appreciated. Um, if you have any plays you want to watch, feel free to message me, send them on over.